Whoa, do you know what's better than the wind and cold of England? It's Madeira. Hey guys, it's Jason speaking here. Hope you're doing well. Me and Donna have recently just come back from Madeira and, well, it's fair to say our minds were completely blown away. In short, it's insane. Now for those of you that don't know where Madeira is, it's actually in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and belongs to Portugal, believe it or not. This island has been dubbed many many times as the Hawaii of Europe and you can probably see why. There's just so many cool things to do on this island and we're going to just show you some of what we would think are the best. Officially ticked off the bucket list is Pico do Arreio. Now in just a very steep 40 minute drive from Funchal, you will find yourself at Pico do Arreio. Now this is the third highest peak in Madeira at 1810 meters. I mean the views are literally outrageous as you can see. I mean, it's unreal. Now we've set off on our quest to complete the Pico to Pico hike. We soon found out that the journey we'd started was definitely not for the faint heart unbelievable views surround you but it was hard work whilst on the trail you find yourself from you know, climbing stairways up a mountain to suddenly going through tunnels through the mountain I mean it, it is pretty insane when we were hiking the weather was very temperamental one moment it could be really heavy rain to the next unreal sunshine so be prepared for both Another thing, bring food. On oh my days you get so hungry whilst doing this hike. Now after hiking for more than five hours, going through the wind, the rain, climbing literally a million steps to get through all the sweat and tears, to finally be rewarded with the peaks of Pico Cruvio. Not the view you were expecting? Snap! Yeah, we could not believe our luck with the weather to be honest, but even so, we were still so buzzed that we completed the trail and got to the highest peak in Madeira. Now, we thought that the famous stairway to heaven was at Pico Ruvio, but we were wrong. It was actually 30 minutes into the Pico to Pico hike from Pico Aereo. So we walked along this famous stairway and we didn't even realize, so we had to go back. We couldn't miss it, so don't make the same mistake as us. Over to the north side of the island now to Seychelles. The north side of the island is just way greener compared to the south side. The landscapes are just so impressive. Seychelles was so cool. We just wish we were there for a bit longer to be honest. When we were there we headed straight down to that famous black sanded beach. It's literally about a 10 minute walk from where we parked up the car and wow, literally what a backdrop you can have onto a beach. I don't think you can really beat it to be honest. You can also go for a dip in the legendary Seychelles Lava Pools. It's completely free to actually go swim in these pools. And there are changing rooms that are also free to use and they are actually really clean to be fair. When you are ready to go for a dip, be careful because it is well slippy getting into the pool. We were massively fortunate when we visited these pools because there was literally no one there literally it was dead it was unreal for us we did go around maybe like seven o'clock in the evening so that might be why don't think you're in there by yourself though nah jokes aside get yourself to seychelles it's a must for madeira okay back to the south side of the island to cabo Juro. 
this is the highest sea cliff in Madeira and for a small charge of just two euros to get through the barriers you can experience the skywalk and if you're feeling brave enough you can admire the height of the cliff of 589 meters in between your feet. Just a bit of a heads up when we went it was pretty crowded still enough room to squeeze in a selfie though so we're all good but Honestly, the views whilst you're looking around from the Skywalk are stunning. So good. Hey guys, just a quick one. If you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, it means so much to me and Dana, okay? But don't let me stop you. Get back to the video. Enjoy yourselves. Back to the mountains now, to the famous Fennau Forest. See this mystical forest, it'll take you about an hour's drive from Funchal. These famous laurel trees do create such a magical landscape. I mean, it, it could easily feel like you're on a set for Lord of the Rings. This World Heritage Site is renowned for its biodiversity, so it's definitely another good reason to get yourself to Fennel Forest. Now, unfortunately, when we visited, there was very little or next to no mist. I could imagine if there was more mist, it would make it even more mystical. So, hopefully for next time. Ah, yes. Now, one of our favourite places in Madeira, Porto Muniz. Just a 25 minute drive from Fennel Forest, you'll get yourself to Porto Muniz. So you can easily add it into your day's trip. Now to swim in these famous pools, you do need to pay a five euro entry fee. You can also pay five euros for a locker as well, which is what we did to be fair. Once you're in, the changing rooms are spot on and it was quite busy when we got there, but we did arrive around midday, so that might be the reason. It didn't take as long to get in and oh, Honestly, it was just beautiful. Dana was legit just living her best life in these pools. Couldn't be happier. Whereas me... As you can see, Port Moniz is really good fun, so don't leave it out when you visit Madeira. So still hanging around on the north side of the island, we're going to head to View de Novia Waterfall. Now this waterfall is absolutely stunning. It's not very often you get the opportunity to see a waterfall actually flowing onto the sea. There's a perfect viewing point of this waterfall just outside of Seychelles. Now something really interesting about this waterfall and quite terrifying at the same time is that if you can see that groove along the cliff edge that used to be the old road that linked Seychelles to get to the nearby town of Sao Vicente. I mean that's mad. And the other crazy thing, this was a two-way road, two-way traffic. It's a good job they constructed those fantastic tunnels, otherwise we wouldn't be able to get to this beautiful waterfall. From one waterfall to the next, here's go waterfall. To find this waterfall we've got to go back up into the mountains to the famous 25 Fonts. Make sure to get here early mind because the car park was mad busy. Now from the car park you walk down this kind of like windy little road for about a mile or so and then suddenly like we were in a film we we're walking along these famous lavadas. These water trenches were originally built to actually carry water from the mountain to agricultural areas. Once you get about, I'd say, an hour into this hike, you can finally actually start to see the Hisco waterfall. Now, after about, I'd say, two hours of hiking, including photos, we finally got to this unbelievable waterfall. And when we got there, it honestly, it does feel magical. It's really something special. One thing I would just add though, something that Instagram doesn't quite show you all the time, is that it was rammed. There was loads of people there, so be prepared to potentially fight for your photo. Despite being a very busy hike, it was definitely worth to see that waterfall. Back down south to São Lorenzo. Again, super easy to get to. You can just park up literally at the very beginning of the PR8 trail. The 
terrain here is so dry and arid, and it was way hotter as well. To think this is only an hour and a half's drive away from 25 fonts is pretty crazy. Now we started this hike hoping it would actually be slightly easier than the others because by the time we got here we were absolutely knackered but not gonna lie it was probably one of our hardest ones. There was some really steep climbs and a lot of the actual path had actually been eroded away so definitely be careful when you do this hike. Despite our poor little bodies being broken and battered, the views were absolutely stunning. I mean, the only thing you can say is that it's just truly breathtaking. Once you do finally reach the summit, you can finally appreciate these stunning views and give your legs a bit of a rest. Now, the view of Sao Lorenzo is really stunning and again, it was a bit busy at the top, but come on, it's worth it. Look at that view. Sao Lorenzo is honestly is just so epic. It just has to be on your list when you're visiting Madeira, no questions. Over to the headquarters of Madeira. And that is Funchal. Not just the capital of this island, but also the birthplace of the legendary Cristiano Ronaldo. They've even honoured the airport to his name. Cool little fact here as well, that almost half of the island's population live in Funchal. This city is absolutely gorgeous though. It's full of history, no matter where you look. There's a ton of culture and just incredible character. As well as exploring the city, there's plenty of options to get on a whale or even a dolphin trip. Now, unfortunately, we weren't very lucky in our pursuit to see some whales or dolphins, but we did go for a splash instead. If you're a lover of Cristiano Ronaldo, you can head over to his museum. Or you can go on to the city cable car, which is also really, really cool. Whilst you do that, you can go and nip over to see Monte Palace. There is literally tons to do in this city. You have to try the famous scabbard fish with banana and passion fruit sauce. I mean, it is such a strange combination, but honestly, somehow it just works. Right, if you want to put some hairs on your chest, definitely try some puncha. They love it in Madeira and it is strong. As you can see from my face, it tasted way stronger than I thought. Funchal is a beautiful city with tons going on. It would be an absolute crime not to visit Funchal whilst you're in Madeira. Guys, I can't express how much fun me and Dana had whilst visiting Madeira. It has honestly been one of the best trips we've done so far and we can't wait to do some more. Now, we really hope you've enjoyed this video. We've loved visiting Madeira and we just can't wait to get the next adventure underway. But for now, thank you Madeira, thank you for watching, enjoy yourselves and safe travels.